So after we got kicked out of the fucking, um, the airport in Kailua, Kona on, on November, uh, 3rd. Okay, so they banned us, banned Patricia with no due course, no process, nothing. They just said, go away, don't come back for a year. And that's why she's having an issue uh, flying out of here because American Airlines doesn't fly out of Hilo. You have to spend 100 bucks, fly to Oahu, then you can get on, you know, and she has two vouchers, a round trip for her, a round trip for me. It's a lot of money. They're not letting her fly out of Hilo because they don't service Hilo. And they're saying she's banned from Kona, which is bullshit. If we just went there and... Yeah, okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, we get booted from the airport. We sleep in the median on Queen K fucking highway in Kailua, the busiest fucking highway on the island, right? The cop made us sleep there. And he wakes us up in the morning saying, uh, you know, he's getting calls of fucking two people sleeping on the fucking highway. That's because he was an asshole and did not fucking take us where we needed to go, which was a bus stop, a hotel, something, whatever. That's their fucking shit. So, Patricia, uh, I call a cab. Patricia pays for it. We go to the only fucking hotel that's open in Kailua. There is the fucking, the, uh, the Kona Surf is open and, uh, and the Holiday Inn Express in downtown Kailua. We'd already stayed at the Kona Surf. It was $200 a night. Beautiful hotel. Uh, I spent $200. Patricia spent $400 on for three nights. We stayed in that hotel room all of about four fucking hours. Whatever. I don't give a shit. Uh, so this story is about getting Patricia off the island the first time. When we really... I didn't know what was going on. I just knew that I was into this girl and I had promised her that I would get her to Philly for her court date. Right? She had a bullshit court date in Bucks County, PA. Written up by Teresa Whitaker Teresa in, Doylestown. in Doylestown. After I'd already, before I flew here to Pahoa with Timothy D'Antonio, mind you, I'm the type of gal, I always look into things. You make sure that you, that's paid, because I was on probation. I know that if you've got any type of, because I was in jail with a ton of girls that were arrested for a ton of reasons. So I was fully aware if you're going to leave the state, you got to make sure you don't owe the state any money first, especially if you've ever been on probation. So I found out about this $800 charge in Norristown where a warrant was issued for my arrest. But I paid it off. So you just went there and asked them and they said, I yeah, paid it. you I contacted them. They said, you know what, Patricia, you do owe $800. There is a warrant. But you know what, come on in when you got it, and we got you. And I, I always get nervous. I was like, all right, I will. But then I sent somebody in to pay it. I went, but then they went in and paid it for me just in case, because I'm feeling like sitting in the like damn holding cell. It's ridiculous. I've done that before. It sucks. Um, and I Norristown knows me because I got arrested for going to court and then leaving court. Okay, fair so enough. So when I was in jail for only two days, when I finally saw the judge, she said to me, "If I was a, well, I asked him. I said, if I pay two grand, agree to pay two grand in the next thirty days." Will you please release me um, right away? Bucks. No, no, no. Prior to this, okay. prior event. Talk about the eight hundred dollars. Um, I'm just saying. I know that when I say I'll pay money, I pay money, and yeah. the North has too. this documented. I paid that two grand in the thirty days. I said I'd pay. Valid, so okay. they know when I say I pay money, I pay my money, and that is documented. Just Valid. so you know, that is that is Valid. factual. That is. Shut the fuck up. This is my story. <laughs> Oh my God, I will shut up. <laughs> this is a story, as I was so, before I was rudely interrupted, of uh, getting Patricia off this fucking island, okay? So, it took a lot of fucking effort to get her to the airport in Kona, right? The truck mount down, the batteries, blah, 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 blah. All right, we finally mm-hmm. drove over there in the Honda, and, um, you know, I'm glad that uh, I got... John to drive us to the airport that time. Mm-hmm. The first attempt to get off the true. island, right? I, 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 I uh, guess Patricia met John. That was cool because her last name is weird, right? It's McConnell. It's the only reason I ever gave her a shot is because of her last name, right? And it wasn't because of some fucking dipshit mm. Republican fucking senator. It's because so of it's Bruce McConnell. Star. My but uncle. James, James V. My McConnell is uncle, a scientist, Bruce too. McConnell, who was adopted mm, too, and I didn't know that either. McConnell. I did not know that either. Bruce was adopted, right? And um, my grandfather was adopted. And Patricia's grandfather was James adopted. Clancy. So that name, McConnell, on both of our families, is it's an adopted name. 
you know, I don't know who the family is, but, you know, cool. More power to them. This is the story about getting oh Patricia God. from fucking Hilo mm. to Philadelphia. So this was after we got banned from the Kailua airport. We're in Hilo. I get Charlie to drive us this time. But I drove us to the airport. And we, Patricia had just said all that bomb shit at, at KOA. Right, so I was still mad. She didn't tell me why she was saying that. I didn't know that she was trying to get attention. She was trying to get someone to talk to her about all this weird shit that was going on, right? But nobody would. They didn't do it right. They stopped her at the gate and wanted to search her bag illegally. That's why she crashed the fucking gate. Because these fucking people weren't doing it right. They should have stopped her at the fucking TSA security thing well before the gate uh -huh. and fucking done anything they were going to do then and instead. And they most certainly should not have allowed the plane to fly away. What was it, less than maybe five, ten minutes later? As soon as you got off the plane and got cuffed, that plane left the fucking yes. tarmac. They should and not have done that. And yet I was that. never taken to the station, but the information in which I shared with those officers was shared with officers when they were called to the hotel the next day. The Holiday Inn Express, uh -huh. right? After we slept on the side uh -huh. of the fucking road, we go to the Holiday Inn Express. These and and we we went in there. I had a mask on. The, uh, the receptionist had a mask on. You did not have a mask on. But that doesn't matter, okay? I called. I went online, and I booked us a room online with Patricia's credit card, or a debit card number. CU Hawaii debit card I booked the room, they said they had it. We went to go check in, and the woman starts giving Patricia shit because she doesn't have a mask on. Now, granted, those paper masks don't do a fucking thing. If you're gonna get infected with COVID, it's gonna happen, okay? A paper fucking mask keeps the spit cloud to around a meter around a person, okay? That's Basically. what it does, it keeps the mist down. That's what that does. Narcan would probably um, uh, regenerate and re, uh, reinvigorate the respiratory system. I know this because I died during the height of COVID because of a Xanax that I bought off the street. Where? Fax. Where? In the streets of Kensington. Philadelphia. Philadelphia, PA. Thank God for Jared Machete. Xanax. And he called the 911 and the car, ambulance cops. I came. They forced me to the hospital. But I left and Jared picked me up. I called Alex. They had a seance in the back of the yard. They put it on YouTube right after that. Um, I ain't never seen a green Zanny bar. They're always tracks. pinkish and they fucking. And they were everywhere on the markings. streets. Everywhere. But the I can't save my life. Markings. So these, um, you know those sort of fentanyl lace pills are out there. Green Xanax. Green Xanax are out there. Did like they have the markings? brown acid, like, uh, like Did they have Woodstock. Markings? Do you remember what the markings looked like on that pill? No, honey. It just was like a green. It looked like almost like this. It didn't even have a marking. It was just. A green It looked capsule. like it was handmade. A green. Yeah. A green How did you know it was looked Xanax? Like it was, um, How did you know it was Xanax? The guy said that that was some Xanax that he had gotten that, um, you know, he buys them generic and he buys them, you know, prescribed, right, whatever. Right. Like he just. Um, did you trust this guy? I did. I got good Xanax off him, and um, he actually wanted to make sure I was doing him responsible too. And he didn't sell me a ton of them either. I only bought like two of them. Like he wasn't those, selling me a out ton. Out of those two pills, I don't think he necessarily two people be, died. To hurt me at all. Two fucking people died. I died out of and those two Sean pills. died. You died, and Sean Tory died. And you He's brought a you brought laced. you brought Sean Tory back uh -huh. with Narcan, <laughs> and and Sean Tory brought, brought me you back, back with Narcan. So those two pills that you bought mm. killed. Patricia so McConnell this and Sean fucking Tory. <coughs> That's what killed him. Not it's COVID. A <coughs> Not COVID. A fake fucking Xanax. I, I'm so mad right now. Um, I feel like people are not paying attention. Yes, respiratory infections, they, they happen. And I'm not saying that um, the flu doesn't mutate or anything like that. But there are herbal remedies. You do, should not necessarily... Um, jump into a vaccine, especially if you've lived through a bunch of waves, you're gonna live with the Ichabod Crane. I don't understand the reference, Ichabod Crane. You kinda gotta just be the, like, you know, like if, if you can't let it um, make us. You can't be afraid of it. It's afraid fear, it's to be tactic. around each other no, or afraid of the truth. Yeah. Wash I mean, your hands. We can be... Wash your fucking hands before you eat. It's fear tactic. Don't 
hopefully for you. Listen, we would know more different the day before everything got shut down and locked down with COVID than we were after it. Point blank facts. And the real issue is with the sulfur and with the climate change, the, the atmosphere is changing. And if we don't pay attention to that, we're not going to be able to breathe anymore. If we don't pay attention to the trees and the forest and, and, and give back to the land and the nature and, and to slow down on killing people, just killing people. Love. And love and love just understand that like, this is ridiculous. This was not a test. This was not a game. This is people's lives. Like, if you're supposed to represent the people as a president of the United States, like, to represent the people in that particular state, a united nation. One nation under God, good only direction, baby. With liberty and justice for all. All Hello. the gods. All the gods are valid. All of them. All of them, from from mm, Greece, I died all the way the through, life, like, all <laughs> the way through Hawaiian gods. All those gods are valid and relevant. Respect all of them. Everybody's got one. Okay. Just because one god doesn't look like another doesn't mean it doesn't have its validity in time or space. And that's the factual. Gods, you move through time and space to make it from this end of it to that end are of it. Crazy and funny, but they're not fucking insane and they're not fucking stupid. Everything happens for a reason.